Hey guys, I'm Chris Clark with Cooks Headers and Exhaust. I'm standing here with Eric Latino, the owner of Global Emissions Systems Incorporated. We're here to talk a little bit about the biggest question we're getting asked right now. Chris, why should we choose the ultra high performance Cooks Green Cats over anybody else's? So, Sure, so let me start off by saying that the substrate that we use is a fully metallic substrate. And the key thing to the integrity is the furnace brazen. We have a process that puts two strips of nickel between each layer of that substrate and it gets put into a metal tube and the whole tube gets furnace brazen into an oven. Most of the competitors, what they do is they'll use a furnace brazen technology, but they basically furnace braze the substrate, slip it into a metal tube, and then compress that tube to hold that brick in place. The reason they do that is it's a huge cost savings. It's like Cooking a turkey, if you've got a 10 pound turkey and you put it into an oven, it takes four hours to cook it. You get a 20 pound turkey, it'll take you seven hours. So when we put the whole tube and substrate to combine together into our oven to furnace braze it, it's in there twice as long as it normally does and energy costs money. So the reason it's more expensive is because of that process. The reason it's a better product than anybody else's is because it's all furnace braze as one complete unit. All right, so Eric, what does that mean in terms of the street enthusiast who has an 800 horsepower blown Z01 that they just picked up. Why should they, why do they need to use the ultra high performance green cats? The whole idea about furnace brazen, the complete assembly to the tube, is when you've got a supercharged application, any kind of forced induction, your air fuel ratio is anywhere between 11.5 and 11.8. Your average exhaust temperature is 1500 pounds, sorry, 1500 degrees of temperature and what ends up happening is at high temperatures that substrate will expand it'll try to move out of the tube and what normally happens on most of our competitors product is that substrate gets pushed away from the tube starts to smash against the cone and disintegrates we know this because we've tested them we've gone through years of development and testing the substrates until we got it to the point that it won't come apart we've actually had cooks take it to all the tests giving them 12 samples to see here, give it to your customers that are going to totally abuse and destroy these units and let's see what we can come back with. And this is when we brought the product to market about five years ago with yep, Cooks. About five years ago. The second key substance on the catalyst is we only use platinum and rhodium. There are platinum group metals, which is platinum, palladium and rhodium. Palladium is an oxide, it's half the price of platinum. It's an oxide powder, which means once it's exposed to high temperatures, the oxide disintegrates. The green cat have platinum and rhodium, and they have a heavy load of the platinum and rhodium. So it can go through extensive heat cycles, 15 to 1800 degrees with misfires, and the platinum and the rhodium kind of laugh at those temperatures. And this is why you need to go with the green cat versus uh, most of our competitors that mainly use a palladium oxide coating and rhodium versus platinum. So to simplify that, which is very technical, I thank know, you, that's what we're that, doing yeah, here. Yeah. But to simplify that, pretty much the Cooks Ultra High Performance Green Caps are designed to handle upwards of 1,000 horsepower to the rear tires. And as Eric just mentioned with the platinum coating, the platinum doesn't just hold on better, it actually oxidizes the carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide absorbs a lot of that, and dissipates it and makes a lot of it clean emissions, right? Absolutely, yeah. It basically converts the hydrocarbon, which is unburned fuel, into water vapor, which is H2O. The other trick thing when you talk about horsepower, mm -hmm. you know, we can put on a 200 cell substrate to a 300 cell substrate and find that a 300 cell substrate, which most people think the higher the cell density is in the catalyst, the more back pressure you create. But we have a unique triangle shaped cell. Mm -hmm. Most cells are square. And when you've got a square cell, the flow area is much smaller. Yeah. On a triangle, it's larger. Two, when we catalyze the triangle surface, there's more surface area, which means we put more of that platinum rhodium coating on there, and the more you have exposed to the exhaust flow, the better conversion you're gonna get. And the cleaner it's gonna breathe. Gonna exactly. Be. So, Cooks only recommends using the ultra high performance green cats on anything force induction, or really anything more than 550 horsepower. So we've tested these cats on a numerous amount of either drag racing vehicles, road racing vehicles. We've actually even put them on a drift car okay. and, they, and they hold up, which is a testament to yeah. your cat oh, building. That throttle, of, it just beats them it's bad. really rough. And the other thing about the green cats is a lot of times when people are out there tuning these vehicles, they're leaving them really rich or they're really leaning them out, trying to make every last ounce of horsepower they can get. Absolutely. When yeah. you do that, obviously you're dumping fuel into the cat. And then once that lean spark hits, it, it ignites that fuel within the cat. But your ultra high performance green cats, they withstand it. That's awesome. They you know, really do. Yeah, it, you know, it's a great partnership with us in Cooks Industries and Cooks Headers and coming up with this whole green cat. 
It was one of these technologies that, you know, it's become like a mother, uh, necessity's mother of invention. You know, Cooks had an issue. They built one of the best exhaust systems in the world for the North American muscle cars. The biggest failure point was the catalytic converter. Absolutely. So we've come out and partnered up with Cooks and developed one of the best uh, EPA certified catalytic converter in the industry. We've started it first with Cooks Industries. They, they started off with a small volume and today they're one of our biggest customers and they brand the Green Cat as the only Green Cat in the industry which is sold through Cooks Custom Headers. So Eric, the Cooks Ultra High Performance Green Cats, are we the only ones using this yeah, in our manufacturing process in the United States? So. Absolutely, so Cooks, not just the United States, all over the world. So Cooks is the only company in the world today using the Jesse Green Cat Cooks combination uh, technology. So if somebody else is out there saying they have Green Cats, Obviously, it's not the Cooks cat, so you think they're just kind of taking the name and running with it? Yeah, they're just trying to, they're trying to just lean against that yeah. name and all the, all the marketing and all the development work that Cooks has done yeah. to promote the green cat. They're just trying to leverage off that. We do build catalytic converters for other companies course, in the yeah. industry, but the green cat, the green cat technology is exclusive to Cooks Industries and Cooks headers. Beautiful. So a real testament to how well the Cooks Ultra High Performance Green Cats work that are made by Jesse is there's about 10 of the nation's top leading builders that are utilizing the Green Cats for their high horsepower builds. Oh. For instance, Hennessy Performance only uses the high performance Green Cats on each one of their superchargers. Well, that's models. one company that would definitely destroy a yeah, catalytic converter sure. in a real sense of, of real world uh, development. So interesting story there, they were destroying a lot of competitors' catalytic converters. I mean, blowing up motors because these cats were failing. So they've gone exclusively to the ultra high performance green, and we literally have not had one issue in the last 24 months. That's awesome, that's yeah. great. Hey Chris, have you got one of those non-green cats that have been failing in the industry that we can show? Actually, we got one right here. So I don't know if you Whoa, guys, that's a nasty one, You eh? see that, yeah. So I don't know if you guys can see that there, but the actual substrate got completely pushed out of the body. That's because it wasn't furnace brazed, as I talked about how important it is to keep the substrate unity and part of the actual- Locked into the locked into cone, substrate. exactly. Yeah. The other technique that we also use, Chris, is that we use what's called a double lock technology. And we'll show that on the green cat. Yeah. If you've got a green cat, we can demonstrate yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. Do a comparison. Yeah, so, sure, let's take a look at it. Grab one right here. So here's, here's one of the, uh, the Cook's green cats by Jesse. And what we do is- we I, actually, I'm gonna interrupt you one sec. Guys, one way to identify the Cook's green cat is we have this trademarked that green cat logo that's actually laser etched with the EPA certification number beneath it on every single green cat. So if it doesn't say green cat or have those Jesse numbers, yeah, it don't have the Jesse a, logo on there along with the green cat. Because there are definitely cats out there with the Jesse logo that you see on here, but it doesn't indicate that it's an actual green cat, which is on the actual Cook's green cat. Exactly. Yeah. Another technique that we also do just to make sure that we know the furnace braze is definitely going to lock that substrate mm -hmm. in, but we put the cone up to the inside against the substrate and it's a double lock technology, so we double lock it in just to ensure that for any reason that that substrate ever comes apart from the furnace braze, which highly technically it shouldn't, the cone will lock that unit in to keep it all in time. What kind of temperatures does the green cat have to get up to? to actually fail. Is there a number have you guys tested to? So here's what we do. So the substrate itself, we have an oven that they go into and what we do is we take that substrate and we have an oven that goes negative five atmosphere. It takes all the oxygen out yep. and it ramps it up to 2000 plus degrees and locks that in so it fuses all the nickel to each layer of substrate. Once that's completed, it cools back down again. It will take 2,700 degrees Fahrenheit to destroy that unit once it's all been furnace braised at that 2,000 degrees. So it's, almost like, it's almost like heat treating a piece yeah, of exactly. steel. Once it goes through the heat cycle, it needs to get to 2,700 degrees. If you're at 2,700 degrees in that exhaust, you got a lot worse problems you got, than you a You got more problems in that Absolutely. engine than you do in the exhaust system. Absolutely. Absolutely yeah. So that's, that's very neat. So, Eric, if a cat fails like this one did, what could that do to the engine? What kind of, I mean, failure? Obviously, well, the you're blocking the exhaust. Yeah, completely. that's the biggest problem. So it's gonna block the exhaust. It's gonna create a lot of heat in that engine, a lot of back pressure, a lot of heat in the valve, a lot of heat in the piston. Man, it'll even heat your oil temperature up, coolant temperature. So you can definitely do some serious engine damage. So yeah. if you feel your car's down on power and your check engine lights on, mm -hmm. don't just ignore it and say, oh, it must just be those non-EPA cats that we purchased on our car. Have a look at, have a professional have a look. And if it needs a cat replaced, don't forget to call Cook's Headers and get those green cats on that car to fix that problem. Exactly. And you guys can get more information at www.cooksheaders.com. 
You can check out our Facebook page, Instagram. We're all over the place. We're promoting our Ultra Performance Green Cats by Jesse. Eric, thank you for taking the time to talk yeah, okay, to man. us. Yeah, cool. You got all it, right. no problem. Awesome. Have a great Thanks. day. Get cooking with cooks.